Hello and welcome to today's science lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. When you're ready guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Excellent. And next we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high to the sky. As high as we can. And then we'll go down low, touch our toes. We'll go back up high one more time. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And while we're there, let's wave side to side. And then back down to touch our toes one more time. Now let's stand up straight. Hands on hips, and let's have a wiggle. Let's wiggle side to side. Stop. And now we'll wiggle again. Stop. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, and stop. And then we can go round and round. Round and round. And stop. Now go back the other way. Round and round the other way. Give our spines a nice stretch. And stop. And to finish, we can do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So in our previous science lesson, we were learning about, ready guys, flowering plants. Flowering plants. Yes, and flowering plants are the plants that produce flowers. And what we learned about in the previous lesson, we learned about parts of flowering plants. So let's write that phrase on the board first. Parts, P, A, R, T, S. Parts of O F flowering F L O W E R I N G plants. So all together, guys, parts of flowering plants. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to draw a diagram of a flowering plant on the board. But I need my student, students to help me because I forgot the names of the various plants. So the first thing we need for plants is we need the ground. This here can be the ground. 
Now, who can remember? What's the part of the plant that we never see? Excellent. The part of the plants that are underground but keep the plant anchored to the soil. Roots. How do we spell roots? Excellent. Roots. That's a great start. So our roots can look something like this. They will be underground and they're long strands that will keep the plant anchored into the soil. But then, once the roots hit the soil and they come up into the earth, we have the stem. And the stem will look like this. The stem is the long shoot that will bring the plant out of the soil into the air. And how do we spell stem, guys? S-T-E-M. So, so far we have roots. And then we have stem. Now, who can tell me, what are the parts of the plant that we need quite high up off the stem so they can capture the light? Leaves. Excellent. Well done. You'll notice that when we have a plant, there are many leaves. And you'll find the leaves are not down here on the ground. Or maybe when they die, they fall to the ground. But if they're still part of the plant, the leaves will be as high up on the plant as possible. And that's because the leaves want to capture sunlight. Yes, the reason that leaves are so high up is because their job to capture the sunlight. And you can see here how many leaves. We have two leaves on our plant. How do we spell leaves, guys? L E A V E S. Leaves. So, so far we have three parts roots, stem, leaves. Now, if we're going to be a flowering plant, what do we definitely need? We need flowers. Remember, we had two types of plants, flowering and non-flowering. We've been learning about flowering plants, so our flowering plants definitely need flower. And how do we spell flowers, guys? F-L-O-W-E-R. And our flower can be something like this. Our flower, again, will also be quite high up on the plant. So now we have four parts. Roots, stem, leaves, and flower. These are all parts of flowering plants. But there's one other thing. Not all flowering plants will have. Some of them do. And these are the things that we can pick off when they're ripe, we can pick them off and we can eat. What are they, guys? Fruits. fruits. Yes. What type of fruits can you think of for flowering plants? Strawberry. Strawberry. Blueberry. Blueberry. Orange. Orange. Mango. Mango. How about a banana? I was going to say a yellow fruit. Banana. And remember we had one called pomegranate. Yes, pomegranate was another one. And we'll have fruits. What fruits will do, they will hang off the branches. And we'll have different berries like this. Or grapes. Yes, let's say these are grapes on our flowering plant. So how do we spell fruits? F-R-U-I-T-S. Excellent, guys. Fruits. Many, many different types. But remember, each flowering plant, if it produces a fruit it only produces one fruit. You'll never get a flowering plant that has bananas and oranges. Each plant will only produce one type of fruit. So, we've got all our parts of the flowering plant. Let's say them one more time. Roots, stem, leaves, flower, fruits. These are parts of flowering plants. Excellent, guys. Well remembered.
And what we're going to move on to do in today's lesson is we're going to look at each of the different parts. Have a look at our diagram, guys. Do you think the roots do the same job that the flower does? No, they're different. Do you think the stem does the same job that the fruits do? No, they all have their own different roles and functions. And function is a key word in today's lesson. So let's write that word on the board. Function, F, U, N, C, T, I, O, N. Function. Or when we talk about many parts, functions. Say it one more time. Functions. Okay. Now what does functions mean? Any ideas? Any guesses? Function. If I say to you, oh, you have a function to do. You've, Prel, you have a function to do. What do I mean? Flower. Not a flower. A function is job. You have a job to do. Or another word we could say, a role. So you see, all the different parts of our plants have different jobs. They have different roles so that the plant can live healthily. Because don't forget, guys, plants are living things. And what we're going to do today is we're going to be looking at the functions of the different parts of the flowering plants. And what we've got now is a PowerPoint presentation and a video so that we can know more about the parts of the different flowering plants and their functions. So let's turn to look at the TV screen, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation, Functions of Flowering Plants. Remembering that word function means job or role. Each part of a flowering plant has its own role and function. Basically, that means each part of a flowering plant has its own job to do. The roots, the stem, the leaves, they all have their own jobs. And that's what we call their function. Yes. So we can see our flowering plant here. Does anybody remember what this bit is? Stem, yes. Here we have leaves, flower, fruits. But what part can't you see? What part can we never see? Roots, yes. Roots collect water and minerals from the soil. Yes, you can see our roots now in this picture here, underground in the soil. But what the roots do is when it rains and the soil gets wet, the roots will collect the water and the minerals so that the plant can drink and have some nutrients. Because don't forget, plants are living things. They need food, they need air, and they need water. And that's what the soil does. Uh, sorry, that's what the roots do. They collect it from the soil. Xylem. Say it again. Xylem. Carries water and minerals from the roots to other parts of the plant. Now that's quite a hard word to say. Let's try again. Xylem. Yes. And you can see in our picture here, you see the blue line? This is the xylem. What the xylem does is it takes the water and the minerals from the roots and transports it all to the other parts of the plant. But notice the red line too. Phloem. Yes. The red line is something called phloem. Phloem carries food from the roots 
to the other parts of the plant. Yes, quite hard words to pronounce. Xylem, phloem. But try to remember the blue line is the xylem. That's the water. The red line is the phloem. And that's the food. And it carries the food and water all to the other parts of the plant. The stem is where the phloem and xylem transport food, water, and minerals. Yes, this picture here is something called a cross section. Now, what a cross-section means, it's, it's being cut open so we can see inside. So this is the inside of a stem. We know the main part of the plant, the stem. If we look inside, we will see different parts. Like the phloem is here, and the xylem is here. And that's how the food and water gets carried around the plant. Stems provide support to the leaves and flowers by raising them up to the sun. Yes, the stem we could call like the skeleton of the plant. That's like our body with its legs, arms and back. That's the role that the stem does with the plant. It takes all the other parts of the plant where they need to be. And then we have leaves. Leaves help to capture sunlight and to make food for the plant. Yes, the plant needs water, food, sunlight and air because it's a living thing. And it especially needs sunlight to produce food. And you can see here the picture of the leaves all high up because they want to capture the sunlight. Plants use sunlight, carbon dioxide and water to make food. Yes, and the food that plants produce is sugar. Yes. Plants produce food, which is sugar. You can see here in this diagram, the sunlight, the oxygen, the water and minerals is how the plant produces food. Now, can anybody remember the process, the very long word we use for plants producing food? Don't worry, it's on the next slide. This process, this process is known as, is known as photosynthesis. photosynthesis. Yes, very long word. Photosynthesis, photosynthesis. is the process, the process of, plants of plants producing food. And here's a good diagram. Here we have our plant. We have the stem. We have the leaves. Yes. So where's the sunlight going? The leaves. The leaves. Yes. The water and the minerals are being collected by the roots. And then we'll go all around the plant. And the other good thing about plants is that plants produce oxygen. What do we need to breathe? We need oxygen. Okay? The plants produce oxygen that we need. And when we breathe out, we produce carbon dioxide that the plants need. So together, plants and humans help each other. They produce the air that we need, and we produce the air that they need. Some plants also produce flowers of different shapes, sizes and colors and have a look at this picture here guys many different and beautiful colors 
Who can tell me some colors they can see? Yellow, Yellow green, Yellow. pink. Yes. Red. Red. And Orange. yes. And look, you can even see some flowers like this one are different colors. This one flower is red, orange, green, yellow. and yellow. One flower, four colors. Very beautiful. And some flowers produce fragrant aromas, which are nice to smell. Yes, sometimes when you're in the flower garden, remember in January when we went to the flower show and we could smell all the flowers. They smell very nice. And finally, some plants also produce fruits which grow at different times throughout the year. Yes. Look at this picture. What fruits can you see? Strawberries. How many? Three. Four? Oh yes, this one here too. Well, how about these two? Would you eat these strawberries? Yes, they're ready to eat. But would you eat this one? Right. Yes, not ready. Fruits need time to grow. You see here, this strawberry is too small and no color. So it's not ready. It's what we call not ripe. But these strawberries, what color? Red. Red. So that means they're ripe and they're ready to eat. So... Any questions, guys? No. Okay, that was excellent. Well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation and the video also to gain a better understanding of the different parts of a flowering plant and their functions. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a sentence building exercise soon for our students to practice. But well, first of all, it's time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this sequence, we will play Teacher Says. So listen carefully, guys. Teacher says, hands on head. Teacher says, touch your knees. Teacher says, touch your toes. Stand up straight. <laughs> Teacher says, stand up straight. Teacher says, stand on one leg. Teacher says, swap legs. Swap again. <laughs> Teacher says, stand up straight. Teacher says, turn around. Turn back the other way. Well done, guys. Well listened. Teacher says, turn the other way. Arms in the air. Arms down. <laughs> teacher says, hug yourselves. Teacher says, arms out. Hug yourselves. <laughs> arms out. Teacher says, one arm up, one arm down. Teacher says, swap. Teacher says, swap. Teacher says, swap. Teacher says, swap. Teacher says, arms by your side. Teacher says, into a ball. Five. Four, three, two, one, jump. <laughs> teacher says jump. Excellent, guys. And teacher says sit down. So what we've got now is a flashcards exercise for our students to practice putting the functions of different plants into the correct order. So what you'll need to do, teachers, is print out two sets of flashcards. The first one to present in class so that the students can see the correct sentences. And then the second ones cut into individual words because our students will work in teams to construct the sentences and speak them correctly. So first of all, guys, let's read the correct sentences. Plants use, Plants use sunlight, sunlight, carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide and water to make food. Make food. 
okay, so there is sentence one. You can see, if you get that sentence, that's how you need to construct it. Sentence number two, roots, collect, water and minerals from the soil. Yes, that's sentence number two. There are five in total. Leaves, capture, sunlight to make plant food. Yes. And as we learned earlier, that plant food is sugar. Each part of a flowering plant has its own function. Yes, remembering that word function, job or task or role. And one more sentence. Some plants, Some plants produce, produce fruits, fruits which, grow which grow at different times. At different yes, not all fruits grow together. Different fruits have different times of year. So, we have our five sentences on the board. What we need to do now is put our students into teams of two or three, depending on class sizes. So, black gal, bang pon, team number one. Prel, down, team number two. Net, Nadia, team number three. And then our three students, Pat, Pak Bung, and Chu, team number four. And we'll give each team a sentence that they need to construct. But wait until I say go, guys, so that each team has their cards. So this one's for team number four. This one's for team number three. Now wait there, guys, till teams two and one have this. Here we go. You're welcome. And team number one. So, guys, not yet. Team one, are you ready? Team two, are you ready? Team three, ready? Team four? So have a look, see which sentence you get, and can you put them together? Okay. Each part of a flowering plant has its own function excellent okay everybody's done so some plants produce fruits which grow at different times well done guys capture sunlight to make plant food excellent well done guys plants use sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to make food. Brilliant, guys. Very well done. That was excellent. Now put your cards together, pass them to the team on your left. Pak Bung, I'll take yours and pass them to Lakau. You can see the activity we're doing in our classroom. Pause the video now and do the same activity with your students. And remember, after each round, have the team swap sentences because they're all different and it all gets a practice. Okay, so not yet, guys. Not yet. If I see you doing it, I'll mess them up. <laughs> team one, ready? Team two? Team three? Team four? Oh! Leaves capture sunlight to make plant food. Excellent, guys. Some plants 
produce fruits which grow at different times. Perfect. Well done. Each part of a flowering plant has its own function. Excellent, guys. Well done. And then team number four. Plants use sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to make food. Excellent. Very well done. Okay, so once again, guys, swap your cards with the team on your left. But remember, if you get your new cards, not to play yet. Okay, so you can pass them to the team on your left. Okay, so not yet, guys. Ready? Team one, ready? Team two? Team three? Team four? Go! Oh. Wow, that was quick. Plants use sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to make food. Excellent, guys. Well done. Each part of a flowering plant has its own function. Well done, guys. Leaves capture sunlight to make plant food. Excellent, Pak Boom. Well done. Some plants produce fruits which grow at different times. Well done, guys. Okay, we'll do one more round. So pass them to your teams on the left. We'll do one more round. I'll hold on to these because you guys are very quick. Team four, ready? Team three, ready? Team two? Team one? Oh, final round. <laughs> wow. Leaves capture sunlight to make plant food. Excellent. Plants use sunlight, carbon dioxide, warm water to make food. Brilliant. Excellent. Some plants produce fruits which grow at different times. Excellent, Pak Boom. Well done. Excellent, Nadia. So ready? Each part of a flowering plant has its own function. Excellent, guys. Well done. Guys, that was brilliant work. Great to see everyone working together and speaking correctly too. So well done. And now it's time for our worksheet activity. So make sure all of our students get their own worksheet. And what our students need to do is thinking back to the PowerPoint presentation, have a read of each of the sentences. Each sentence has a missing word. That word is in our word box. So let's see if our students can remember and choose the correct word from each word box to complete the sentences. So what's the first thing to do, guys? Write our names on top. And what we can do, if our students can't remember, we can help them. We can show them the slides again that contain the words on the PowerPoint. So Chu, this one's for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Pat, for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Nadia, here's yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Ned, for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Down. You You're welcome. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. You're welcome, Bang Bon. And Lakau. So, names on top first, guys, and then have a read of the sentences. 
See if you can remember. Of a flowering plant has its own. F -f 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 What's our word for the day? Function. Okay? Some of them are still on the board. Function. Function is job or role. Each part of the plant has a job to do. That's what we call its function. <laughs> and then sentence number two. Roots collect water and minerals from the... Soil. Yes. The roots collect from the soil. Remember, the roots are underground. They collect from the soil. Soil. Okay, now number three and number four, remember the hard words, the new words that we learned. Xylem, X Y L E M. The xylem carries the water and the minerals. Remember the blue line? That was the water and the minerals. Xylem. For number three, and then number four was pH, phloem. Yes, xylem, the water, phloem, the food. Hard words, hard vocabulary. And then number five, plants make, what do plants make? Fruit. Yes, excellent. We know the word photosynthesis. And that's when the plants make food. Very sweet. No. Sugar. Excellent. Remember, the food that the plants make is sugar. That's the type of food they have. And what do leaves capture? Remember, leaves are high up on... No. Sunlight. Leaves want to capture the sunlight to help make food. Excellent. And then leaves capture. Sunlight. Nadia, the food that plants produce is sugar. Sugar. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to choose the correct words to complete the sentences. And my students here all did an excellent job. And what we're going to do now is practice speaking one final time. So ready guys? Each part of a plant has its own function. Roots collect water and minerals from the soil. Xylem carries water and minerals around the plant. Phloem carries food around the plant. Plants make food through a process called photosynthesis. The food that plants produce is sugar. Leaves capture sunlight to help make food for the plant. And finally, a plant that produces flowers is known as a flowering plant. Excellent, guys. That was very well spoken. And that's it for today's lesson. So we hope you've enjoyed it and now know a lot more about the different parts of flowering plants and their functions. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you again next time.